Greetings, fellow adventurers, and welcome to The Peak. I'm Nick, and this is Peak D&D. We're up here in the Rocky Mountains of Colorado at 9,000 feet, bringing you high fantasy. Ha ha. We're about to jump into our playthrough of Into the Fae, a 5e Dungeons & Dragons module by Luke Hart from the DM Layer. You can check out his Kickstarter at the link below and pre-order your own copy of Into the Fae for your D&D group. It's a really well-designed module that is great for DMs of all skill levels. It's got a lot of guidance and insight. Even brand new DMs will have a blast with this module. Now, our version of the campaign is still taking place during the playtest portion of the module. Some names and places have been changed to protect the innocent, and we've adapted some of the maps and encounters every now and then to keep it lively. But this should give you a good feel for Luke's style of adventure with a little bit of peak D&D flavoring for good measure. Don't forget to do all of the things that every YouTuber asks you to do, and let's roll some dice, shall we? Join us as we travel into the Fey. Roll music! So, last time we left off, uh, the group of, uh, of interesting individuals had uh, made their way to the residence of one Bakio Hikoshi. He is a local merchant and uh, apparently looking for some talented individuals. And uh, since you all need to raise money for your legal fees, you've decided to uh, take him up on that. Uh, not all of us <laughs> have legal fees, I just want to say. Oh, exactly. Enough of us do. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You're, you're so kind to help us out, uh, to join in on this adventure, which I believe will be lucrative for all of us. One certainly hopes so. Did you drink that seltzer water that I left out for you? <laughs> was that you? It was. That's very sweet of you. Thank you. Yes. You had a hangover feeling. We're better. all still talking very quietly, yes? <laughs> <laughs> As I smack my mall on the ground. <laughs> so after assuring you that he plans to uh, speak quietly, uh, Illensworth just pounds on the door. <laughs> Kirk, Kirk, Kirk. And a moment yeah, later... That's not how these things... Okay. A moment uh, later, a servant woman uh, opens the door, uh, looks you all up and down, decides you're adventurers, and uh, welcomes you to the Hikushi mats. Uh, she leads you into a waiting room and says that the boss will be with you in just a moment. Thank you kindly. You're very polite. I like you. <laughs> and she uh, she's out the door. Notice they didn't serve What's in this door? waiting room? Uh, it looks like uh, it's got a, a sofa, uh, a little coffee table with some with some knickknacks on it. A lot of uh, little statuettes. Uh, there are a couple of nice tapestries on the wall. And uh, a rather large uh, blank spot on the wall where it looks like a painting once was. Hmm. Pretty. See the, the paint's a little bit discolored underneath it. Pretty high society. It's pretty high society. It's not <laughs> like, you know... It's not the you know the the best house in town, but this guy plainly does a good amount of business. <laughs> well, he can't do that much business. He didn't even bring wine out for his visit. I was gonna say, and that's when he enters with wine. <laughs> oh, <laughs> ah, greetings, greetings, my good sir, uh, Mister Jalisanthier. Very pleased to meet you. Mm. Uh, how is your lord father? Oh, daddy's daddy's doing well. Uh, he sends his regards, of course, and uh, you know we we figured we would make an appearance, and, and uh, as we understand, you are in search of uh, intrepid individuals to perhaps perform some task that would might perhaps require some compensation. Well, yes, uh, I am Good looking... vintage, by the way. You're very welcome. <laughs> uh, well, as an actual point of fact, yes, uh, I find myself in need of some hired assistance. Hmm. Uh, my guards have already demonstrated that uh, they're not able to help me with this. Uh, I should 
back up a little bit. Uh, you've no doubt noticed the blank spot on my wall. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Portrait uh, <clears throat> out for refurbishing, I assume? Uh, unfortunately not. I, I seem to have been burgled, in fact. Oh. I wouldn't uh, normally bother uh, hiring folks for this. Uh, I would normally go to the guard, but the painting has some sentimental value. It's a portrait of my grandfather. He founded my trading company, and well, it has some sentimental value to me. I, uh, I was hoping that you might be able to find the culprit and return the painting. Certainly. Uh, I, gentlemen, I think that's something well within our wheelhouse and capabilities. I often return stolen art. I believe often. we can do that. Is this potato wine? <laughs> no, grape. Yes, the normal kind. <laughs> you guys never had potato wine before? Oh, well, I, I'm afraid I've missed out. I, you that have you to have. educate me. That you have. You must tell me the name of your vineyard. <laughs> ah, it's a root vegetable farm. <laughs> that makes sense. It does, it does. But we do make wine. Uh, what can you tell us about the 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 painting, the, the circumstances under which it was purloined? It, it went missing uh, three nights ago. Uh, my guards, uh, Harold and Russell, uh, were... Well, Russell was on duty that night. Uh, he, according to him, he saw nothing, but an intruder must have knocked him unconscious. When he came to, he... Uh, well, he looked about the house and found that the painting was the only thing missing. I was in a dead sleep at the time. I, I heard nothing of it and didn't realize until the next morning that anything was amiss. Because Harold didn't pay attention at the orientation <laughs> meeting. Not that I'm upset about that. Uh, so I'm afraid I know precious little about what happened to it. But uh, I could summon my guards and they might be able to tell you more. You say it's a painting of your grandfather? Yes. Why would that be of any interest to anybody? Well, it was a fine painting, but uh, I'm afraid I don't know. My only idea is that someone had a grudge against me personally. It is a sentimental painting. My home has other objects to art, and nothing else was stolen. Yes, it's a very finely appointed mansion uh, that you have, sir. But I, and I'm a bit perplexed as to why nothing else would have uh, been stolen. Perhaps they were out... Do you have any enemies? Anyone who would uh, seek you ill? No, well, nobody I suspect of uh, burglaring me. Burglary? Burglary? A word like that. Yes. Uh, but I uh, I have my share of rivals, but, well, mostly I try not to make too many enemies in my line of work. I, I do favors for people. In fact, lots of them. Uh, I... I wish I could give you a lead, but I can think of no one who would have such a grudge against me that they would be willing to take something so personal. What, uh, what is your line of work? Oh, shipping, primarily. Hmm. Uh, things have been a little bit rough since the northern trade route became less profitable. Uh, hmm. But we still do a brisk trade in uh, mostly grain, uh, rum, a little bit of mead, but the, uh, well, the, uh, the local purveyors have a somewhat tight hold on that market there. <laughs> I haven't been able to break in yet. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sure you'll, you'll find your way at some point. Well, if you need a distributor, my father would, uh, he has very, uh, several connections. I'm sure I could put in a good word. Oh, well, uh, I, uh, I'm not at all adverse to having uh, Mr. Lysanthir's assistance. I would be honored to be in business with such a, a fine and well-regarded man. I am his business liaison on most matters. We'll set up a meeting at another time and uh, talk talk brass tacks. Oh, he's he's important. very excited about that. He ends up chatting with you. Uh, <laughs> he, he ends up like bringing right. that away I from the uh, completely the bullshitting my way through this. Oh, like, I assume so. Yes, I, I have no idea. <laughs> but it's the kind of bullshit things. he wants to hear. Yes, so he's a hundred percent with you. But well, um, I do believe that the uh, doors of Easting would really like some of this grape grape wine that you say. Uh. Yes, it's uh, the Arbor Watch. Uh, Grapes. DR-1320, I think. Uh, yes, I think that's correct. Uh, and I, uh, I've got some ends of the dancing meadery, so I don't know if you uh, are into shipping any mead abroad. You, but, have, uh, uh, <clears throat> you have connections with the dancing meadery? <laughs> yeah, I make the mead at the dancing meadery. You're the 
brew master at the well uh he's an important fellow uh, i uh, I, I won't insult you by asking you if you're uh, open to uh, alternate offers, but uh, I would be very interested in doing business with the Honeygut Dwarves if they'd, uh, if they'd consider it. Well, perhaps if this all goes well, we can. this can be the start of a very profitable relationship for us all. Well, I would like that very much. Uh, if, if there's any favor I could do you that could uh, help to grease those wheels a bit, please don't hesitate to ask. I'll keep that in mind. Yes, and speaking of uh, business appropriations and relationships, <laughs> I assume, uh, as awkward as it may be, uh, this this task does come with uh, some type of compensation for our time. Oh, certainly. Upon recovery of the item, the, the, the portrait. Well, uh, for matters of coinage, I'm prepared to offer you uh, 50 gold for the job. Uh, I am, of course, always willing to do favors for friends, so uh, having a well-placed uh, merchant connection in this town of Aradale may not uh, go amiss for you as well. Uh, if there's uh, anything specifically you had in mind, I am uh, I can see what I can do. Well, we are needing 150 gold, because we have to pay the city watch back for our broken statue. Oh, uh, philanthropic work we're doing, uh, <laughs> city beautification, that type of thing. Uh, you know, just just high end, really philanthropic type work. Roll persuasion. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I mean, no, that's a good thing, right? We want to do that. Oh, aren't you good at that? Mr. Oh yeah, I'm really good at that. What <laughs> Sorry, am I talking about? What are you griping about? <laughs> that was a that was a one. Okay, a, a critical fail. Damn yeah, it. so it you say teetered on that nineteen. <laughs> you oh. say all of those, uh, all of those reassuring things. Honey, but you say them like, "Yes, for philanthropic work, it was doing the city <laughs> park." Uh, it's, it's Learning great. my audience. Uh, Damn it. Uh, well, one hundred and fifty gold is outside the budget for this, but I mean, could you pull some strings in with the city watch or something? Well, you know, that's not such an idea. Uh, Captain Thumpkins does owe me a favor. Is that who? Does That's my best you? friend in the <laughs> law enforcement in this. Captain Thumpkins. <laughs> <Thompkins. laughs> who is not, uh, not, not, not having any of your shit lately, then. But, uh, uh, but yeah, if, uh, he, he mulls that over for a second and he thinks, yeah, you know what? I, I can perhaps put in a good word with the, with the captain. You don't seem like dangers to our fair city, and uh, perhaps with uh, the recommendation of a respected local, they might uh, forget this little matter. We even have the broken piece that you could take to them. I'd hang on to it. <laughs> You're just full Perfect. of useful information, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Well, well, that's why we're going to have to have a little talk on our way out of this yeah. place. <laughs> the investigation is afoot. Uh, is it now, might we have an audience with your... Uh, guards. Uh, Russell, was it? Who was on duty that night? <clears throat> yes. Uh, Russell is the night shift. Uh, Harold yes. takes the day shift. Ah, uh, the, uh, we're lucky. Russell's having breakfast. Uh, so the two of them are both uh, they should both be in the cafeteria. Uh, you could join them there or I could summon them here for you if you prefer. And I believe we, uh, we would have uh, uh, permission to uh, investigate the grounds uh, of this room in particular. With the, the, with oh sure. Uh, certainly room. within reason. Uh, my private quarters it's upstairs. I prefer to remain closed. Oh, but uh, certainly, yes. Uh, you have my leave to investigate the scene of the crime and uh, speak with my guards. Hmm. Uh, are we in agreement then? I'm sorry, I prefer to have these sorts of things clear. Uh, are we in agreement then? Uh, 50 gold, and I put in a good word with the captain. That would be wonderful, thank you. Uh, are you, uh, by any chance, do you have lodging in the in Airedale? Well, we, we have a, s a small accommodations uh, that, that are... <clears throat> Of, of my own uh, as this is more of a vacation spot for us than anything but uh, if you're if you're offering uh, well uh, it occurs to me that I do have a uh, a voucher at a, a fine inn I visited the other day uh, one in a game of daggers you don't think you'd want it in a game of daggers <laughs> but uh, <laughs> uh, those if pristine you, hands of yours <laughs> uh, this uh, he, he hands you uh, an, uh, a little slip of paper <clears throat> uh, this is uh, good for two weeks at the Rose Thorn. Lovely inn. Uh, mm. Interesting bartender. Wonderful, wonderful cocktails. Mm. We'll have to check. We will uh, certainly take you up on that. Kind offer. 
Thank you. Uh, I've uh, found myself in very little need for uh, for accommodations outside of my mansion. Yes, with a, with a lovely accommodation such as this, why would you need to go elsewhere? <laughs> I'm sure you feel the same way, but uh, you look like you're new to town. Well, yeah, I mean, I live up in the fort by the brewery, so it's a good hour to, well, it's a good two-hour walk for me. <laughs> no doubt. Well, uh, this'll... Uh, but it'll be the stable he's staying in. <laughs> uh, I've been uh, camping certainly. in the evil woods there for a couple days. It'll be way better than that. Right, well, uh, you seem like very interesting and busy people. Uh, if you don't mind, I'll uh, return to my uh, ledgers and uh, let you speak with the guards. That would, be, that would be most acceptable, and thank you very much. Hell be with you, sir. And you as well. Uh, very pleased to have met you, Mr. Uh, Gord, was it? Yes. And uh, Mr. Illensworth. Thank you very much for your assistance. Uh, I look forward to hearing what you discover about the painting. Yes. Thank you. And uh, he ducks out of the room... As soon as he leaves, you've been thrown out of the rose thorn. <laughs> now let me think. <laughs> that one doesn't sound familiar to you. I don't believe I'm on the persona non grata list. <laughs> Perfect. At this point, yes. But I'm I mean, always up for new young. situations. <laughs> he day certainly is, is a thorn in a rose. <laughs> every rose has its thorn, oh. as I always. Say. But not every thorn has a rose. Astonishingly astute, my friend. He's, he's not wrong. <laughs> he's not wrong. <laughs> uh, all right, so we perhaps need to figure out where this painting may have gone, why it was the choice of uh, <clears throat> these thieves, uh, thief, uh, and what happened to this. I, I'm beginning to doubt his. Uh, he was that he was overpowered uh, and and knocked unconscious. I think he may have been asleep on the job. So if we could talk to Mr. Russell and Harold. And you, well, yes, we needed to speak to the, the guard. Russell was the Russell was the guard who was there. Yeah, Russell oh, was right. the guard who was on duty. Gotcha. Uh, Harold was his uh, relief, <laughs> who found him unconscious the next morning. <laughs> I suspect we'll learn more if we talk to them. We should also look around this room. There may be some kind of uh, indication of what happened as well. Now, I'm not too well versed in. Mansions and whatnot. I'm pretty good uh, at at figuring things out. I mean, you out. do a lot of talking, so you should probably talk to Russell. Oh yes, yes indeed. I think it we seems should. Seems like you know your way around. Do we so want maybe... to investigate here? Find out what we can before we should. Yeah, we should investigate here. We Very can well. both do a little talking if we need to. All right. Uh, so I, we would like to let's start looking around the room. I'll look around like is it above like a fireplace? This this yeah, painting? it's like it's got a small hearth. It's not huge or opulent, but there's a small fireplace uh, that patch on the wall where the paint is a little bit discolored. It looks like uh, the painting was hung above it. Okay. Uh, everything else in the room looks uh, pretty much undisturbed. Hmm. Interesting. But uh, why don't you <coughs> just go ahead and roll investigation if you're gonna can, search the joint for clues? Can I aid? Uh, uh, Jastian and give him advantage, like use my action to... Yeah, so, I think I'm pretty it. sure that's how that works. Okay, cool. Yeah, basically, it, it's just you use... Yeah, you can give me advantage by aiding. Generally, uh, you, you, can, you can describe how you help me to, to you know make sure that... I help you by getting out of your way. <laughs> I think like, that's you're, you're like I investigating, looking for clues. I mean, I'll tell I'll, you what to look for, like yeah, like I'll make sure, like you know, I've got the ground covered, and I'll also know look to like chimneys and stuff that are like small, yeah, places that I could fit into. All right. Like well, if I were going to steal this painting, this is what I would do. I mean, if this is what we're doing, I'm certainly going <laughs> to with advantage. Let's see what happens. Give it a roll. What you got? Is it Fourteen. Yes. Uh, so that's a uh, investigation. Nineteen. So with a nineteen. Um, so you're able to to get, look around the room in pretty close detail. You're able to find the dusty spots in the room uh, where obviously like the knickknacks and statuary haven't been moved for quite a while. Mm. It's weird to you because uh, with the height of the, uh, the painting and uh, just where it is in the room, you don't see how they manage to not disturb the dust on the hearth and get the painting, unless the person who took it was nine feet tall. Hmm. Huh. Okay. So, so, uh, I, like, I would have to get up there. I would have to like climb on the. Yeah, you would have to do a little bit of. Okay. So... Yeah, like the the painting. It's like the hearth itself is not huge. That's maybe like 
five and a half feet off the ground is where the mm -hmm. where the little mantle is. But the painting was hung like much higher than that. <laughs> For sure. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> That's why it's important that he you were aiding and uh, he was uh, doing the primary role. Right, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the way it works. Also, okay, the chimney so. doesn't look like a. Uh, you're you're looking specifically at the down low parts. Oh yeah. Uh, the chimney looks really really ashy. Okay. Uh, like nothing has probably come up or down that in okay. a in quite a while. It it needs a cleaning. Okay. Uh, any any. Uh, Look at the look at the windows, the window sills, any sign of entry or the room doesn't actually have any exterior windows. No, no windows. Yeah, it's okay. purely in yeah. So they got in the house somehow and mm -hmm. uh is there managed a, to is take a, it. A door into this room or is it like a doorway? Like a uh way no, way? it's a door. Okay. Hmm. Great. Well, I suppose they were either using some kind of magic uh to to live so I, I imagine this painting is big. Really? That's your first explanation yes. of magic? I could have come up with that. I don't know how it happened. It was well, magic. Saying, like, they, they didn't climb. They were very good at covering their tracks. I'm just imagining, because I can do this thing. I don't know if I've shown you this, but I, I have this... And I, 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 sometimes when I reach for things, I can I can do it without seeing. And I cast Mage Hand uh, cantrip, and I can... You theory. presumably managed to describe that without yeah. using the words mage hand and yes. trip. But, <laughs> like, yes. but it can't hmm. I can't carry much with it. Hmm. That's neat. And this painting is probably more than five pounds. It yeah, <laughs> based on the size of the outline, it's definitely more than five pounds. Right. So that's that's out. That's right out. Just forget it. Okay. So what's they perhaps were very large, but it doesn't seem that way, or perhaps flying. We're moving around. Birds. Trained birds. I've had weird interactions with birds lately. <laughs> I, 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 think, I think we found it. Let's go talk to Russell. Weird birds. Uh, on the way, I'm going to uh, bend Gord's ears and be like, all right, so look, man, I know you were trying to help by offering up the statue head as part of this, but sometimes less is more when it comes to talking. <laughs> Now, I'm just trying to tell them what they need to know. Uh, well, see, but sometimes they don't need to know certain things. Well, how am I supposed to know what they need well, to know This is what I'm helping you with. This is why we're a team. It's cool. <laughs> I don't understand you, city folk. <laughs> <laughs> They're weird, ain't they? Very. So you guys come into the kitchen where the two guards are uh, chatting over a bowl of porridge. Uh, they both turn around and kind of give you a <clears throat> kind of half-assed salute when they realize you're not their boss. Uh, but they uh, they nonetheless uh, uh, seem like alert now. Is, is there a table? Yes. I would like to hop up on the table and kick both bowls of porridge out of the way and oh. lay into both of them and then try to intimidate them. Like, what the hell was going on here? You guys are little pieces. And I'm going to take the bad cop role. Okay. Two okay. Guys. Well, roll your uh, intimidation. I know my role. If you don't have it. <laughs> Following directly behind the good cop. Yes. Uh, my intimidation was nine. Very well. <laughs> <laughs> they're, like, they're like half asleep. Awestruck. <laughs> yeah. Uh, both of them, like, look at you, like, a little bit taken aback. Like, they don't look like they're shaking in their boots. You get the sense that this is probably how Bakio talks to them all the time. <laughs> and uh, so they just start giving you one-word answers whenever there's a, uh, a question mm -hmm. in, in your tirade. Mm -hmm. uh, but they don't... Uh, they, they they basically just recap uh, what they told uh, what Bakio told you okay. their story was, and then I'm gonna walk away all disgusted and leave the room to no. bed. I, I, I lean over to Gord and I say, Gord, how's your good cop? I think it's pretty good because that was horrible. Um, I, Talk after to these nice gentlemen. After he's, what they know. <laughs> after he storms away, I, I go over there and like I'm very sorry about him. I'm sure you're enjoying your porridge here in your quarters here, and we just need to know a little bit more about the painting that was stolen. Because we have been hired to kind of take a look into that and see and if we can get it back. John hype man behind him, like, yes, of course. Yes. <laughs> uh, they look, uh, they look a little bit, a little bit more taken aback by you. <laughs> I was like, You're what? being nice, They're talking to me like I'm a human being. That's weird. But go ahead and roll your persuasion. Oh God, eight. Can eight. I? Can I, I was, I was helping. I was hyping in the back. Am I aiding? <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> 
Hey, listen, hey, yes, hey, listen hey, to him. Hey, listen, listen to him. Listen, listen to him. him. Am I accidentally listen. menacingly like roll, roll around your roll. roll on your charisma, Ben? Let's see how good your hype is. Just straight up. Uh, let's do. Straight I was trying up to give him four advantage. advantage. Now, if you want to walk in and uh, <laughs> straight yeah, up charisma, yeah, right. that's four. Three to fours, man. Uh, that's a uh, seventeen. All right. Yeah, that's worth some. Uh, Ben's hyping you up pretty well. It's like, hey, everyone, just calm down. I'm sorry, your porridge is on the floor. He's, <laughs> he makes some good points. I don't know. You guys work too hard to deal with all your other stuff. Oh, I know, right? Yeah. I so never let us get a moment's peace here. Very confused about this nice talk over here, but mm. focusing on the task at hand. <laughs> well, I see. Your, your angry child friend is really, <laughs> really should calm down. Uh, yeah, he gets like that. He's a halfling. He hangs out with a lot of angry dwarves. So Drunk dwarves. <laughs> so they angry recap dwarves. the story for you. Only this time, Russell seems like a little bit more reluctant, especially when he tells you uh, how they knocked him out and without, <clears throat> uh, without him seeing anything. Hmm. Didn't see a thing. And where were you stationed? Uh... I was patrolling the uh, the entry hall at the time, uh, which and that leads to the the main room. Or it, it, it it's one way to the room. Okay. Yeah, that's that's where he was attacked. Uh, yeah, they uh, just uh, I don't know. They they must have. Uh, I woke up with a great big lump on my head, so I I guess somebody must have must have hit me, hmm. and uh, yeah. I'm sure, so, the, the lump on your head wasn't from you hitting the floor. <laughs> I, I guess anything's possible. Uh, I was <laughs> unconscious. I didn't see any of them. Do you know of anybody who might do this to your employer? Well, I don't know. He's a merchant, right? I mean, don't they make a lot of enemies? In my experience, yes. Uh, Quite a few. Uh, I'm right. Bakio says different, but... Well, yeah, I don't know. Uh, ba- ba- boss says a lot of things. Right? Uh, <laughs> Harold, when you came upon poor Russell here after his uh, brush with death. Did you what What was your initial uh, thought? How did he look when you saw him on the floor? Make an insight check. Hmm. Damn it. Uh, eight. All right. uh, Tony, if you're listening, you can also make an insight check. I believe Come I'm on. listening. <laughs> Plus one, baby. I rolled a one! Yes! <laughs> no, this guy's totally telling the truth. Bam, bam, uh, bam. <laughs> it seems to you like Harold is like trying real hard not Ooh. to crack a smile or laugh a tiny bit. But he says, no, I just I found him on the ground. Uh, and he was just out like a light. <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, yeah, then uh, I woke him up and uh, we... we Searched the place. We found that painting missing. And uh, now, when you say you woke him up, was like you brought him back to consciousness. You was you you slapped him awake. You splashed water on his face. Did you shake him? Did you just ne- gently nudge him, as if he were asleep and I, not a conscious? <laughs> splashed the water on his face. <laughs> interesting. Interesting. Russell. Were you perhaps, uh, Harold, did you perhaps notice Russell breathing heavily, snoring perhaps when you uh, came upon him? I see. You think I was sleeping on the job? I wasn't sleeping on the job, man. There was like nine of them. Nine what? I assume there were like nine of them because it would have taken oh, nine okay. of them to knock okay. me out. Like, I, you know, I'm, is- I, I ain't no like... Waif, man. I'm, I'm big and tough. And Nine of them. You certainly are. You certainly are. There's only uh, three of us. <laughs> it's, it's true. Uh, now, Harold, I th- Russell, I think it would be in your best interest to describe everything uh, to me exactly as it happened. So by exactly, <laughs> uh, you mean... It's a concept I'm still associating myself with. Uh, the truth. <laughs> I mean, they've been telling us the truth the whole time, haven't they? <laughs> see, this is what I mean when I say you see uh, uh, yeah. cities. <clears throat> All right. Well, um, maybe when you mention it, uh, maybe they didn't just, you know, knock me out with one good solid blow. Maybe, maybe it took a couple. All right. Uh, maybe they, uh, 
maybe they pulled my pants down <laughs> and I tripped and my head landed in an earthenware pot uh, and I was swinging my sword around trying to get them and they just laughed at me and they, they flew away. Ah, they, they flew, flew away. Yes. Yeah. It was, was was that so difficult? Uh, well, well, yeah. Don't tell the boss that. We're, We're not get going fired to fired. And they listen, found out I had a bunch of pixies drum my Discretion head in. is the better part of valor, my friend. We won't say a word of this so long as the portrait is returned, uh, and the more information you can give us about what happened, the quicker we can see that done. Ah. Uh, uh, well, in that case, uh, after they they pulled my pants down around my ankles uh, and I fell, I, I saw them flying toward the uh, the sitting room and uh, they flew out with this, uh, they flew out with the painting and I saw them go down the sewer c- cover outside. Any reason they would take that painting? I don't know, man. <laughs> they just went straight for it after they, you know, defeated me. Now I've seen uh, one of these creatures that I think he is uh, I, I think I'm the only one that's seen it uh, I was blind so yes yeah, you were blind <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you were blind we Max encountered, trying as hard uh, as not to be involved <laughs> we encountered a, a, what I'm assuming is a pixie uh, some kind of small flying humanoid person you humanoid. encountered a small flying humanoid yes I more so. information will require more roles. information <laughs> yes uh, okay and so and based on this discussion with him I, that's sort of matching up with what I'm a ma- he's yeah, described he's describing what you saw. Like it like it wasn't like a perfect human shape. They were a little bit squatter and a little bit greener and skinned. Yeah, yeah but yeah, yeah, they were some kind of like but flying. It sort of matches up with what I saw in the park that day. Yeah, well, it well, sounds well, like the same kind of thing. Okay, so, so something akin to that. Great, uh, fantastic. Well, thank uh, you for how your. How much do I hate these guys? I thank you for I don't, your. Uh, I don't hate them. <laughs> all right. Thank you for all of your information, and we will surely go look at that sewer where they allegedly grabbed the painting. And yeah. Uh, sorry, boss doesn't pay me enough to walk in poop, so you guys uh, have fun with that sewer. <laughs> I would have to say you should probably invest in a belt, so then your pants don't get. You know, I anymore. had one with me, but these quick little sons of bitches! I swear. <laughs> well, just put it on in the morning, man. I think they, they took it as well. They, they took his... They and were, also, they I were do having think fun with him. if you find some turnips and put them in that forage, it'll be real good. Mm. Turnips, really? Yeah. Wow. Do it all the time back home. I mean, uh, yes, boss is. said we should use cinnamon, but I can't afford that. I can afford a turnip. Precisely. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. Thanks. That culinary clean. prowess is unmatched in, these, in this realm. Why, thank you. <laughs> uh, I, and he, Helm be with you, sir. Hey, uh, yeah, he, uh, Helm, sure. You too. <laughs> Hallelujah chorus was had. All right, let's go. And I turned Ben around. (laughs) Very well. Uh, It seems that some small winged creatures stole the painting that we are after. And they went that away. All right. (laughs) Into the the sewers where the poo-poo is. Not exactly sure why flying creatures are going into the sewers underground, but... Well, they... We'll have to step in the poo poo. We'll have to find out. Yeah, well, they, they that's they, true. They're probably not much bothered by it. Yeah. <sighs> and I just had these boots polished. Shall we tell Boss Man go. where they are and where we're going? I think once we have a bit more information uh, for him, mm-hmm. and perhaps the return of his item will go much mm-hmm. further than updating him on the past uh, indiscretions of his guards. <laughs> <laughs> Up to you. But guys. just in case we don't I come don't back in a timely manner, someone will know where we are. We'll leave a note with Rose, Rosa, Rosa at the at back in my quarters. <laughs> <laughs> She'll know where we're going. You know who you could tell is <laughs> Captain Thumpkin. She seems to like you. <laughs> you know that's not a bad idea. <laughs> I was kidding. Let's go. <laughs> I want to. Tell somebody on the way out <laughs> where we're going. We're going to the sewers! <laughs> you tell the, uh, the the cleaning servant who looks like she's pounding away a rosé while you guys are yeah. <laughs> we'll fall, fall while she thinks nobody's looking. While yes. he's talking, I'm just like shaking my head, like making eye contact with the servant. Just... Yeah, I'm just going to be like, hey, now, if we don't come back by like nightfall or tomorrow morning, just let Bakio know that we're not back yet. And we went in the sewers. Okay, I sure will. Thank you. 
You're welcome. Fantastic. She starts kind of <laughs> leaning a little bit too far to one side, <laughs> like she's not quite. She's trying really hard to act sober. <laughs> it's yes, the soberest you've ever good. seen a person. We've all been there. there. A lot of you know what'll really help your soberness? <laughs> Turn up. Ginger. I thought you were going to say getting right or balance. Balance. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know what really, really help with your balance is get if you clean. eat some ginger. <laughs> Looks like you're a little imbalanced, and that'll help you. Oh, wow. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. <laughs> he yeah, is absolutely. Just full of useful information. I Isn't love this he kid. <laughs> Isn't he, though? All right, well. Uh, I need to write all this down so I remember what everything does. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good idea. I'm going to keep, start a, start keep a list of the many uses of turnips. And I was going to use yeah. this in my. Uses way. of turnips. Right. Uh, I suppose we'll go investigate, uh, check out the entrance to the sewers that they uh, right. said the, we were uh, the, There is a grate leading to the sewers, not far from the uh, entrance to the mansion. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, you can see a uh, big, heavy uh, cover on it. Uh, but yes, presumably the sewers are beneath. Anyone else got uh, like torches or anything? I've got a hooded lantern with Ooh, some glass oh, of oil I have in my burglar's pack. I think I have candles in a priest's pack. <laughs> I mean, uh, candles would work. I'd, uh, not I particularly have, elegantly, but they'd work. Uh, yes, I have I have some torches. And okay. Good, because the only things. light down there is what you bring with you. I, I think I do uh, have dark I can vision. see. I mean, you have dark? Fine. I do. I'm, uh, do you have dark? That's a great question. I was looking at that. I will continue to look that up. I feel like halflings might be one that don't. You are the most possible. Cap. But I know I got a band. All my knowledge is two editions out of date, man. I don't know. I, uh, <laughs> hey, uh, hey, Gord, do you think you can uh, pop that lid there? Pop what lid? Oh, yeah, we can do that. Yeah. Yep. So make, a, uh, make an athletics check. They they went. They must have gone through the grate. It seems like it, yeah, because yeah, it doesn't look like it's been moved. Well, where was that when I was trying to talk to people? Uh, 24. Well, this is what you're... <laughs> this is what I'm built for! Oh, damn it, you are, yeah, not not so great with the talking these days, but boy, your core strength. Uh, yeah, you uh, <laughs> you lift the great cover off with no problem and uh, set it off to the side. There's neatly. A, uh, set, set aside neatly. <laughs> neatly and very, you know, law-abidingly. With my full name and social security number on the grade, no, so anyone no, knows. See, no, no, no. <laughs> this is what we have to break. And then I just start like, all right, man, we got to. Well, do you think I should put my credit card number on yeah. there, too? Just get, I'm just going to leave my wallet. It, what if it gets lost? <laughs> I know. Maybe that's what Helen wants you to do. I think so. Nah, he'd want you to watch these carefully. So <laughs> yeah. you better bring them with you. <laughs> I want to say that you have. Well, mostly well, because know, I want to say that. Yeah, no, I, I also <laughs> want to say that about me, but I don't believe I do. It doesn't say anything about it. So. There's, there's, I'm assuming there's not like regular grates and we're going pretty deep because so it's dark. Like there's not daylight coming. Nah, out. there's it's not like, it doesn't seem like it. It seems like it's- of the sewers coming down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So these iron rungs kind of pounded into the brickwork. Uh, you're able to <laughs> descend pretty much without difficulty. Uh, it seems like the ladder is not like falling apart or anything. Very That's nice. good. Uh, That's good. Tell me, uh-huh. you recognize the uh, the brickwork you're seeing as dwarfish in nature. Ah, oh. oh, this is very nice work. Yeah, this is. Uh, you can tell that this uh, this stonework is probably a few centuries old and uh, looks like dwarven craftsmanship to you. It's not really your department, but uh, you know. <laughs> I've heard something about dwarf things. Nice. Your cousin Cletus had a really, really nice brick house that he made. And, yeah, <laughs> That's he, exactly what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, it's lovely. I think it's it's fantastic. Uh, so can can you see down here, my friend? I I can see just light fine. my hooded lantern. <laughs> fantastic. And now you can. <laughs> and right. I will keep. I'll just. Uh, what is the? How far does a, a hooded lantern illuminate? Is it ten foot or? Is there an it's like five work? foot dim around him? Yeah. Gotcha. Put your hood down. So yeah, so that would mean that it wouldn't mess with your dark vision at all. So what's the precisely? Uh, yeah, what's the radio? Uh, what's the we length? It's sixty feet. For sixty dark feet. We can right. see as if there's dim light, right? In pure darks. Alrighty. So you guys make your way down. Feels like you go down probably about about probably about 30, uh, 20 to thirty feet underground. Uh, you sort of make your landing. There's a uh, there's. Conduits of brackish water uh, moving through and uh, filth best not contemplated uh, all over the place. Uh, You get down there and you guys immediately notice 
there is a trail uh, in the muck. Mm. What kind of trail? Footprints? Uh, it doesn't look like footprints. It just looks like one long, steady line, almost like like a stick. Like, almost like, yeah, something? like someone who was dragging a dragging stick a through st- it, or like there was like one wheel that went through it, or something like that. Huh. Hmm. Or a like corner a painting, of a painting. Frame. Frame. Here's your shitty painting. <laughs> <laughs> your painting's covered in shit. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you didn't like your grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa's covered in poop. Very well. Uh, okay. Now I respect your elder. It, it, it goes. Where does it go? Which way is it? Uh, it Peter. heads to the north from here. Okay. And north uh, is so, towards us. Or yeah, towards it's on ben? the other side of the the the, the crab lake, and oh, it heads okay. up toward. Let's see here, and it stops here. Hmm. Okay. okay. But there's no door there or anything. Yes. Doesn't look like. Okay. It. All right. Well, let's make our way over there and check yeah. it out. Yeah, let's right. follow this trail and see where it leads. Do let's. We'll follow you, I suppose. There is one. Dark out, mall out. I guess there's something. You know, maybe we should. <clears throat> we'll let you one tell us door oh. there as well. Is that where the it started? Uh, it doesn't look like oh, it. Okay. It starts like approximately where you guys are, like this. <laughs> this oh, was okay. a so problem as soon as they uh, got down here. Thing. Uh, let's. F- I suggest we follow the trail. Yes, it may lead to our quarry. Uh, in yeah. So let's got nothing better to go off of. We'll uh, wade through the muck. Oh. Yeah. I mean, can't we just? There's walk bridges. Up? Oh yeah, we'll just go on the bridges. Yeah, you could just. <laughs> but you don't have to wade through the muck if you don't want to. Have you guys, have guys, never, life, so wait, have you guys never been in the sewers before? <laughs> yeah. Amateurs. Right? Well, this is pretty familiar to me. Da, 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 da. I mean, not when I can't help it. You said it's over here somewhere? Yeah, yes. about there is where it just stops. Just about there. All right. Well, it looks like it just ends. All righty. Now, I would ask for rolls, but Tony gets this without a roll because dwarf. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Tony, the brickwork on that wall, mm-hmm. right where the trail stops, mm-hmm. that's different brickwork on, than the rest on of the, the dungeon. Okay. Yeah. Like hard line. Kind of? Not like a hard line, but it looks like it was probably... Li- it looks like it was patching a hole that was in the wall here. Oh, uh, okay. Like, <laughs> door doorway... Doorway shape? Not doorway shape, <laughs> no. Doorway sized? <laughs> Bigger than doorway size. Okay. It's like a good, like, six or seven chunk, foot okay. chunk of wall. To the ceil- ceiling? Just about to, Just the, about ceiling. to the ceiling. Like, ceiling. it's like, it's not a perfect rectangle, but yeah, it's okay. about that. Well, now this is different. Can I knock on it? I'm not stopping you. <laughs> see if it's hollow. See if, I don't know. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see here. Not like a, yeah, not like a, hello, let me in. More like a. Yeah, more like a testing it for acoustics kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. Let me see here. Is see like if a, I can tell a difference between the wall that we were following and then this new wall. Uh, yes. It uh, As soon as you're touching it, it actually becomes pretty obvious. Okay. So the rest of the this area, it's made out of like stone brickwork. Okay. You it's like clay. Knock on it. It's almost yeah. It's it's like it's solidified clay. Mm-hmm. It's not like paper thin, mm-hmm. but it's definitely thinner than the rest of the walls. Does the uh, trail end like in the middle of the sidewalk, or does it? Uh, it ends at. Uh, it doesn't go past it. It, okay. it looks like it stops there. There's like a little bit of a. Okay. Hmm. Like, Actually, you know what I mean? yeah, Is it, it doesn't like leave, underneath the it's not like or? perfectly straight like a furrow anymore. It looks like there's a little bit of like a, an indent. I want to try to push the wall. Does the, does the trail go into the wall? That's like, does asking. it turn? No, it, it just kind of like spools and it like ends in this little like scoop almost yeah, yeah, yeah. of like a displaced muck. Yep. Uh, <laughs> and that's the end of it. Okay. I like, yeah, I kind of want to push the wall then or see if I can move the wall since yeah, it's, it's obviously like, not supposed to be here. Is All right. this, is so it doesn't perhaps, feel uh, like it's supposed to move. It doesn't right. feel hinged or anything, but it definitely does feel weak. Like, like you could probably it. break your way through it if you if you felt like it. Well, should we Y'all know about if... secret doors or anything? Maybe there's a catch somewhere. I, I, mean, could, I could investigate. I, could, I don't know if there might be... Uh, I, I would like to make an investigation check to see if this is a secret door, a panel that'll give way, or something that might also have a trap. 
Very well. So go ahead and around. roll your investigation. <laughs> I'm not a... <laughs> I'm not it's a kick one. the door down. Oh, sort of one. We're off to a splendid start. I am <laughs> going to retire this Yay. dice very quickly. So... Uh, yeah, all, so... All these undulations. Yeah, Tony, you can see Ben, like, clearly not investigating mortar, right? Uh, so you're kind of <laughs> stepping in and pointing what things out to him. Is this Why wall is made of shit. That? It's all made of shit. <laughs> Are you freaking out, rich boy? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Uh, Max, yes. You, you hear... <laughs> Gosh darn it. It's not a splash, but more of a slosh. Pretty close to where you guys are. I immediately turn around and uh, you are not surprised when no, a not horrible there, right there. Just you, uh, there. creature uh, breaches the surface of the water. Oh god! <gasps> it, it looks like the corpse of a man missing both his arms and his lower jaw. Oh. Jesus! Uh, it is nonetheless attempting to bite at you. It's almost like swinging its head like a battle axe trying to put oh, its teeth in you. Good Gross. God. So. Those fucking sewers. Illensworth is not surprised. Um, we Jastian, however, it's going to try and attack you. Oh, no. Right there, Jastian. Look there. No, not there. Uh, but it sucks at it. Oh. I'm assuming a five doesn't get you. Uh, that is correct. All right. So it misses you. Sweet ginger. Let's have some initiative. Oh, okay. What's sweet ginger? I need to get my Ooh, dice wow. right with Helm. You. <laughs> get your dice right with Helm. That's, <laughs> that's, 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 a, that's, a, that's a five. That's for your me. problem. You're still faster than Indeed. the bad guys. Yay. 21. 21. 15. 15. All right. So I actually had the hey, order right already. <laughs> All right. Uh, Illensworth, you were up first. You just saw some horrible zombie monster attempt to uh, bite his face. <laughs> Blinded. Jesus Christ, the sewers. God, is this a normal occurrence down here? I feel no, like as an urchin. <laughs> okay. You haven't seen uh, zombies or whatever the hell this thing is. Ever before. <laughs> in the, uh, not okay. in sewers. Well, then I'm going to uh, uh, put my lantern down and open the hood a little bit so I can see a bit more to see, make sure there's no one else coming. And then I'm going to Doesn't shoot seem like it. It looks like one corpse in the pond. And then I'm going to shoot this thing with an arrow. Go for it. I'm right next to it. You are. And it's a good thing, too, because I'll use my sneak attack. <laughs> <laughs> does a 19 hit this thing? A 19 does hit that thing. Oh, eight points of damage. Eight points of damage. Let me double check and make sure that doesn't kill it. Damn. Yeah, that's right. No, we have it's one attack. shot of zombie. <laughs> Level one! <laughs> <laughs> hey, those 2d6. That's a lot. Hey, man, I hear you. I love low levels. I mean, when you, you can, can kill them, and they can, can kill you. Do you have 16 kill points of damage in one shot? It's you pretty know, solid. Uh, sorry. Don't be. Don't be. What do you, what you need? Well, just for just for like first impressions, I'm hoping I do kill this thing. Just because. Fair enough. <laughs> Soul competent human being is a uh, is a role that's still open. I think. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. We, I shot lasers once that nobody saw. <laughs> yeah. I still don't hey, this guy claims to be yeah, able to I shoot still lasers. Don't think you can I decapitated this guy a evil statue. Shoot lasers. Magic hands done? that yeah. do, do something. something. Yeah. That, 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 this guy's that, great that. at destroying statues. Uh, <laughs> evil statues. Oh, of course. Evil, evil statues. <laughs> I, ha I haven't had the heart to tell you that that, that thing was just fucking with you. That little flying man. I haven't told you. All that. right. So man. eight points is not quite enough to drop ah. the nasty. Oh, that would be I'm cool. sorry. It's well, okay. I could also. All right. Well, oh, eight. still <laughs> eight points easy. is eight points. True story. All right. Then it's Gore. Your turn next. Oh, yes. Sweet ginger. What is that? <laughs> uh, I turn around. From pointing to Jashian of where he should be looking, because he's looking in the wrong place. And I will slosh through here and swing bridge. yes, up on the up on the bridge, swing yeah. up and try to hit this Fair enough. zombie thing, apparently. That's Unfortunately the knee deep sewage is more like waist deep sewage for you. That is okay. <laughs> hey, natural twenty. Helm be praised. <laughs> You gotta get your dice right with home. Yeah, now we, now so. we know. Now we know what the game wants. Uh, double dice, not modifiers, correct? Uh, correct. 
17 points of maul damage. 17? Ouch. Let me double check that. Holy mackerel. Oh, yeah. You, uh, you just <laughs> cave in his head like a melon. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, country boy. Guess they raise you right out of there on those farms. <laughs> One uh, severely tore up ghoul later. <clears throat> I know how to swing a hammer. I guess so. <laughs> Damn. All right, now, about this doorway. <laughs> can, can I search it for, like, some, some sort of thiefy, like, uh, No, you can search it. It's he's all business. There's obviously nothing there. I've looked That's because he's looking very at the well. other stonework, not this new stonework. Yeah, I don't know, man. He might be right. I got a nine. <laughs> <laughs> we, are, we are fantastic. Sure is a wall. <laughs> yeah, man, it looks do like I have a wall. To do it looks like a slightly here. different color, though. You're yeah. able to at least parse that out. Yeah. The wall's like a little bit I don't lighter think anyone's here. rubbed any shit on it Well, yet. as, as this seems to, shit on to be some kind of dead end, uh, I, I suggest we go back and see the other door. I get out my mall and I attack the doorway. You gonna smash through it? Nice. Very well. Roll, uh, well, just make an attack roll. Oh, God. <laughs> did I hit a wall? <laughs> did you roll a one? No, I did not. No, the it wall's not nine. dodging. It is a nine. Okay, a nine is enough to hit a literal wall. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, could miss the inside of a bond. <laughs> My bond was really small growing up, though. Uh, yeah, so what happened? Oh, do I roll damage? Is that what you're Yeah, go ahead and roll some damage. Uh, Twelve. Twelve. That's enough to put a pretty big hole in the wall. Can I see through into a corridor of some sort? Or uh, is it... You see some stuff there. Give me just a second. I'll let you know what it is. Okay. <clears throat> Man, that's weird. Undead in the sewer. Mm. There's all kinds of weird shit down here. That's why. That man it's was including undead. stolen paintings. <laughs> you, you heard about the crocodile, right? Okay. The poor goldfish that people put down their their, their lose. <laughs> All right. Road to monstrous so, proportions. There's monstrous goldfish in here. Yes, there are. Oh boy. No, people goldfish. put them down the people. You know, throw them into the streets with the chamber pots, and uh, they don't think about what happens the when they end up down in the sewer. Yeah. The poor poor fish. Well, let's get out of here. That's how the zombies get down there too. Yep. <laughs> people just, just, just people just tossing them out into the gutter yeah. and. Uh, Rain they washes got, them into the sewer. Well, see, they have one little known fact. Like, they grow as big as their surroundings. So when it's you true. don't have them in a cage. Yeah. yeah. They really need to bury their dead in what, better ways. What did you do? So, you swing your mighty maul at the uh, at the suspicious brickwork. Uh, you feel it, like, crack. And uh, you manage to, like, put, like, a, like a two-foot hole okay. in the wall. As big as the mallet? Uh, a little bit bigger. Yeah. I mean, you can, like, kind of, like... Gosh, yeah. So you do that. Uh, behind the wall, mm -hmm. you see a sort of like, you see probably about 15 feet of hallway, mm -hmm. uh, and then another uh, new uh, clay barrier. Same, same kind of barrier. Looks like it. Okay. And in between the two, you see some nasty looking things. That immediately shriek and start trying to claw oh. their way out the wall at you. Roll which, which, which one of the nasty things? <laughs> the dog. Things. Okay. <laughs> the weird pig dog looking thing. <laughs> ah! This is what happens to the pig dogs that get flushed out. Here. Okay, who brought the dog? <laughs> so, yeah, this is there a, we uh, go. This is a planar matter or a spellcraft or arcane matter. Uh, if anybody would like to know more about what the hell that uh, is, I have proficiency in arcana. You can roll that. All right, I got. I'm gonna keep my initiative roll. Good. This is why you just raise root vegetables. Uh, is a 14? 14 arcana check. A 14 arcana check. Uh, <laughs> Ugly pig dog. Yeah, you're trying to think <laughs> back over like the one or two magazines you've read about, you know, uh, Zoo books extra for monsters. monsters. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, then you hear a tiny voice in your head say, Dretch, lowest circle of demon. <laughs> oh, a dretch. A demon? What? And what the now? same uh, and that same voice that bird used to talk to you a little while ago. Oh god. Where'd you get that from? This thing in my head. 
God damn it, you hear things in your head too? I bet that's fine. Let's roll the mission. <sighs> I had uh, a I had a dirty twenty. Dirty Nick. twenty for Mr. For Jastian. Jastian. Seven for Gord. Seven for Gord. That guy's a little faster this time. So, Sixteen. So trying to pull through my mall back on the other side of the mall. <laughs> Alright. So Jastian first, then Ellensworth. Alrighty, there we go. So, Jastian, looks like you're up first. Let me so behold, horrible pig dog oh, demon thingers. Stretches. Jastian, what are you going to do about it? Uh, the, the, uh, I, I, uh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you insist, you're in the right place <laughs> yeah. for it. Boop. Um, these... I dropped my pants. <laughs> Demons. Why does everybody do that first thing? <laughs> <laughs> That's not going to help. Uh, Shoot an Eldritch Blast through that hole. <laughs> yep, you can easily target one beyond. Yes. Go ahead and give it a roll. It's a 15 to hit. A uh, 15 will hit. Fantastic. D10 of damage. Max damage, 10 points. 10 Damn. points of damage. <laughs> that one does not look happy. No, he definitely shoots lasers. He was not kidding about that. <laughs> oh, I take it back. But I take it back, Richard. Uh, be careful with that thing now. Uh, do I have anything else I can do? I'm going to... Uh, actually, where I am is just fine. I'll, I'll just sort of stand off to the side of the hole and like, shoot a laser. And, <laughs> and be like, oh, shit. He'll be in this fight as a featured extra. <laughs> yes. Just kind of lean in and shoot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All so right. Is that what you do? You point your finger. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. Okay, I like it. Ellen's worth. Uh, yeah. So does it look like these things can get out of this hole, or...? Um, let's see here. I imagine yeah, more like Iron feet. Man, like, just... Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I was wondering. Green laser <laughs> beam. There you go. Okay. I like it. <laughs> Smells vaguely of flowers. <laughs> it's wonderful down here. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a welcome reprieve, yeah, to be yeah, sure. Yeah, like, I, like, I love your <laughs> potpourri lasers. <laughs> <laughs> They really they should get some air fresheners know, down here. Do they here. come in other scents? Uh, that hole looks big enough that they could probably squeeze out one at a time, yes. Ah, okay. In that case, I... Or I'm... you could squeeze in if you felt like it. Oh, that's okay. I oh, am instead I'll going th- to... I'll throw you if you like. That's very sweet of you. Very kind, in fact. Uh, no, I'm going to try to... Uh, well, how... Where is the... Well, I'm, what, five, four, four... It's probably... I'm, like, know... five feet, so... So yeah, and it was like a downward arc. Okay, cool. So yeah, yeah. You, you have a clear shot if you'd like to shoot. Through. Great, yeah. I would like to shoot the one that we got Pokery lasered and then uh, step aside so uh, the country boy can... Uh, Very step. well. Go ahead and roll to shoot it. Thank God for country boys. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, 17. <laughs> 17. We'll hit it. Ah, uh, for max damage, 10 points. All right, that's enough to kill one of them. Max there. damage, max damage. There's a lot riding on nice. me. <laughs> yeah, I did you follow guys... a critical hit, so I am So out of what, I'm, what I'm seeing here is that you guys are rolling poorly for social skills, but <laughs> the moment initiatives roll, you become a death squad. <laughs> that's right. Super. We know Murder when to shine. Murder hobos! <laughs> we know when to shine. Oh, boy. I, I tell all of the truth, but at least I murder everybody. And then I would like to <laughs> step aside to allow Gore... Uh, <laughs> Get we get our shit together when it counts. Uh-huh. Right. We're like, so, I gotta kill some shit. Okay. Stepping aside. Yeah, I don't know why that was there. Yeah. I got your mixed up or something. All right. Then it's like, it's what do you the mean you're stepping aside? You need to step in. And he's gonna <laughs> try and shove his whole body out that hole and not quite have enough room. Uh, so he's gonna get one clawed hand out, uh, Tony, and try to sl- oh, slash you up with it. Uh, it's gonna be at disadvantage, however. Damn. Not great. Uh, five? <laughs> uh, 11 short, my uh, friend. Unfortunate. Nice. He doesn't hit you. <laughs> yes. Uh, Gord, that means it's your turn. Alrighty, can, he's got a hand and his body's kinda near it. Can I swing just through? the opening I made. Smash his face. Yeah, I mean, it's like he's basically in the opening yeah, so made at this if point. If I just do the same swing, I should be able to hit him again. One would assume. Let's would see assume. what your dice think about it. They think great. Uh, 24 to hit. Well, with your dice's permission, yes, you absolutely do hit him. Uh, not max. 
Oh, that's uh, 10 points of damage. 10 points of damage. All right, not quite enough to finish him, but uh, you definitely give him a good whack with your hammer. And Jastian, back around to you. All right. Uh, I will, I guess, jump into the, the muck down there uh, just to get a little more distance. And shoot him <laughs> again with an Eldritch Blast. Go ahead and roll it. That's so nice. I'll do it twice. <laughs> uh, 18. 18 is enough. And uh, two points of damage this time. Not quite enough to finish him off. But he is having a terrible day. I'm distracted by the poo-poo. He's stuck in a hole and getting shot with potpourri and hammers. Poo-poo, poo-poo. It just smells like outdoors. It doesn't smell like <laughs> potpourri. Yeah, that's a welcome, Richard. You do, you're doing great. Hey, Slave pine away. needles is an improvement. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so then I'm going to move over here to be flanking with uh, uh, Gord. With, with Country Boy. And uh, I'm going to nice. take some uh, attacks with my daggers. Yeah. It's not quite a flank, but it is. <laughs> He's disadvantaged enough that it's, equi- it's, it's equivalent to flank. Okay. <laughs> if not, I don't mean I don't need advantage. I'll no, no, you're totally good, man. He's he's stuck in a hole and partially tenderized. Okay. Uh, that's good. Uh, advantages is good. Uh, so 17, that'll hit. I'm guessing like a 23. Oh, totally. Uh, Tense my goats. Uh, another 10 points of damage. Another 10 points. That is enough to finish him off. Uh, but he I, dissolves into demonic goo. Did he have a? He probably would have had an attack of opportunity because he was. I was adjacent to him uh, when I moved out. If you want to try to hit me, uh, he can do that. He's got disadvantage, so we'll see. Oh, that's one. No, he totally missed. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> well, the dice gods agreed with me. I just forgot. Uh, so, all right, dice gods. Like, he's like right next to there. Excellent. All right. I told you, Helm's looking after you and protecting you. What? Is in this place? Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Demons and is there a, monsters no, in the sewers. There's no painting in in that room, <laughs> is there? I mean, if you guys want to lift me up, I can go crawl through that hole and see what else is back there. Yeah, check it out. Bacchio has certainly made some sort of evil rival down the road. I don't know why anyone had it, but have these things. Right. Yeah, I'll, I'll climb up through that hole and go uh, scout right. out ahead. Not too difficult. It's basically large enough for you as is. You yeah. Little stooping. <laughs> I will try to break down the rest of. The yeah, it, it takes you know it takes a few minutes of, of working at it, but yeah, you can basically knock that wall down without too much trouble. Uh, yeah, you find 15 feet of corridor and uh, then another wall. Similar to, I'll investigate that wall. And is this the same sort of brickwork? Newer. Yeah, it's or? the same sort of newer right. and uh, less sturdy brickwork. Okay, I'll investigate if I need to roll a check or if not, see if there's another way other than breaking it down. Fair enough. I mean, it um, certainly woke up those things. Give it so an investigation Quietly roll. as we can do this, that would be great. Yeah. Uh, 18 for <clears throat> investigation. With an 18, you don't see any anything else. It looks like they, there's just two semi-permanent walls that they stuck these... Uh, Horrible demon pig dog things in. Okay. Did you pull up your oh, hood on your lantern? <laughs> <laughs> no, sir, I did not. Alrighty, then. I guess we just. So I there's don't know. A, there's a few other corridors. We came perhaps through, we don't we came break through this that down. far one. Mm-hmm. Yes, you guys came up through here. There is a door here. There is another corridor off this way. Okay. Perhaps we should let this one be. Yes, we'll come back if we need to. It's fine. Certainly, they don't want us to get in here, and I don't know what else is going to be on the other well, side. Well, obviously, if they don't want us to get in here, this is where we need to go. <laughs> another God two demons, demons obviously. Come on, man. <laughs> there will be another component with another two demons in it, and then Precisely. another one, and then another one. And well, then... Helm would want you to vanquish this evil. What if these are the things that are messing with this... the woods? I wonder what... I don't know. This seems that the, pa- the painting came this way, at least. So we should probably... I mean, something was it dragged this way, at least, it seems. Fair enough. I guess let's try to knock this down as well. See what's beyond this wall. <laughs> this time I rolled a 10 to hit the wall. All right. Uh, I'm still you are really good at hitting walls. <laughs> still a wall. Getting better. Yeah, it does not resist you. Uh, 13 points of damage. 13 points. That's enough to put another hole in it. I kind of step back like on guard this time. This is yeah. really fun. What's on the other side of this wall? I don't know. Let me check. Uh, is it potpourri? Area B4 is on the other side of this wall. <laughs> <laughs> Before what? Before, <yeah. laughs> 
What came after? <laughs> Before the demons. Before B3. Oh, of course. Of course. Right. Oh, wait, uh, before B5, I apologize. You are going away. B3, B3. Uh, it looks like it opens up into another sizable uh, corridor. But nothing uh, so moving? Roughly on the analog of this. Yeah, you can see water oh, see. flowing uh, beyond it. Uh, and a door in the wall directly opposite uh, the where, the, where the barrier is. Uh, yeah, so I guess we... Is there any uh, indication of... Uh, other than the, the pig dogs that were in this room? There's no... There's no... Uh, yeah, buddy. It's windy outside today. <laughs> no, okay, this is the wrong way. This is the wrong way. I take it back. I take it back. I take it back. <laughs> it's already <laughs> too late. <laughs> Tornado. Oh, that's Damn, that was intense. That's going to make no sense to anyone watching. <laughs> wow. This is like a huge gust of wind. There is, there's a very blustery day happening outside. And my, <laughs> you don't care. Anyway. And then you <laughs> land in Oz. <laughs> yeah. The mics picked it up. I hope so. I hope so. Yes. I have had campaigns get about as derailed as that. So it's, hey, yeah, anything enough. can happen. Uh, is that there's 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 no sign of uh, trespass beyond those pig dogs that were in this room. You don't see anything moving around there. All right. No no little draggy painting. Oh yeah. Trail. A, you don't see end. a trail there. No. But no. it also does look cleaner in there. Mm-hmm. I mean, I can make my way through again. I assume there's a halfling sized hole that was. I'm made. roughly halfling sized, yeah. I mean, if Tony like takes another couple of swings, it's yeah. big enough for anybody. See, what's yep. in the, see, what's, see if you can Might see well what's knock this one down. Too. Yeah, yeah. you got a great big hammer and a uh, we'll uh, dwarven uh, can do attitude. We'll back you up so. should you encounter. We'll back you up should you encounter any. Uh, Thanks. What were they called? Nasties. In there. Right. Dretches. Dretches. Pig dogs. Pig dogs. Dretches is what they were called. Pig dogs <laughs> is. Uh, it's, you that's, know. that's my fun name for them. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a. That's the fan nickname. That's sounds like a name for them. Sounds like a Nickelodeon cartoon. All right, all right. So you uh, kind of clear the dust, uh, plaster, and brick <laughs> off of yourself, and you see that you are in a fifty-foot, uh, approximately fifty-foot corridor uh, that runs uh, runs north-south, so sort of parallel to the one you uh, came through, you know, initially. Okay. Hmm. The main sewer. Yes. Uh, there's a channel about 30 foot in where some brackish water is flowing. Mm-hmm. Uh, there is a huge scorch mark on the ground over here by this wall and a person lying dead. That's... I'm going to place this. Odd. Uh, yeah. Yes, that makes, that makes some sense. <laughs> Logistically. Yeah. That's odd. Uh... Well, I guess with dark vision, is, I see this, so I... Yep, uh, the whole corridor is actually lit. Oh, it's lit, that's what you're saying. Yeah, down, uh, down by the wall where this dead body is, uh, there appears to be a lantern hanging from the ceiling. Uh, what can we tell about the state of that body? Has it been there a long time? Is it... It doesn't is, look like it. Uh, it doesn't look hardly decomposed at all. Like, it's like it's gone pale <laughs> uh, and very... Like, the blood underneath it is definitely black. But it's not, uh, it doesn't look like it's been here for longer than maybe a couple of days. And there's I yelled down on the hallway? On the, wall. Uh, on the oh, wall. Oh, God! Hey <laughs> right. there, you need help. Uh, well, let's, let's. Fuck. Let's, let's have a talk about what happens. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Well, maybe he'll learn his lesson. Maybe Country I mean, will learn his Christ. lessons. <laughs> Helm Christ. <laughs> All right. Whoever so the things is. are going great until you get here. And after that, Dude, no, what? ah, shit! God damn it! That's what I was trying to Say surmise goodbye, if that body was burned. You said there were scorch marks on the wall. I yeah, I, I was not telling people to. Run. I didn't assume he was going to run towards it. <laughs> <laughs> that man needs help. That man All is right. dead. <laughs> that man has been dead for days. So, as now, he, Tony as he steps on a panel and is interrupted in <laughs> or something. What no, were we no, saying about not needing I, the fireball? I promise you that it's not a fire-related mishap. Oh, no. That is all I promise. Uh, so, Tony, uh, as you kind of hop this little channel of water, yes. uh, you're not sure what kind of foolish person built this floor but the stone doesn't act right. 
because it doesn't stop you from falling through the floor. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. So. <laughs> and I'm falling, and I'm falling. <laughs> you fall about, probably about 10, 12 feet. Okay, that was better than I... You're going to take sticks. three points of damage Ooh. and land in some very thick and grody-feeling water. Yes. At least there's no, like, spears sticking out of it. Or God. Damn it. Which proceeds to immediately start punching you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. At least He's in the upside down. 18. 18. Are we all, can we all? You can all roll initiative, yes. We see him disappear and start yelling. So 18 for Gord. Uh, at, ooh, at Careful when you jump. A 21. 21 for Jastian. 16. 16 and bad guy's last. This bad guy's is slow. <laughs> Doesn't have feet or discernible anatomy. It's an ooze. You're fighting an ooze. Oh, God. Oh. Hey, y'all, I got this. You go check on him back down there. <laughs> what? He's dead. He's still dead. <laughs> I am not going any further We're not into certain this hallway of that. beyond where he went. Come on. Come on. Someone has built a death machine down here. And we must... Yeah, the sewers. Yeah, this is what we signed up for. Oh, let's go find the painting. It'll be fun. <laughs> what did you think was going to happen? That's not how I was going to I didn't expect demons and punch of water. I didn't. <laughs> All righty. So, uh, Justin, you hear uh, the sounds of uh, the sounds of a dwarf falling down a pit trap. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> followed by the sounds of a dwarf being splashed with acid. Thank oh, you. Passive oh. perception of nine. <laughs> You're, you're pretty sure something went wrong. <laughs> oh, Certainly didn't see that thing. <laughs> well, he made it that far. Um, shit. All right, I'll jump up to the... Can I see... If I go to the edge of the, the, the pathway, right up to the edge of the water, can I see down into the pit from there, or do I have to... It still looks like a stone floor to you, but you just saw Tony fall through it like it wasn't there. Can I see... Can I... Can, if I... I would like to move uh, up to here. Can you see me? Can I can I see Tony uh, down in the pit or not? Not immediately, but make a will save as you kind of... Oh, shit. Wisdom? Intelligence? Uh, right. Wisdom save. Sorry. Uh, what do I Not bad. Fifteen. Fifteen. Fifteen is enough. All right. By God, you're pretty sure that floor is an illusion. <laughs> That's actually a pit trap about ten feet deep that you see Tony in. And is the floor like still there? Like, is that illusion still going? It's still going, but now that you've like figured it out, so you I'm can sort kind of, of relax your eyes and way. yeah, you can Once see you him see, beyond it. You can't unsee. <laughs> yeah, it's a silver <laughs> magic eye. I understood that reference. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> not what the follow-up right. is. <laughs> um, all right, so there's there's something moving else beyond beyond besides Tony yeah the, besides uh, Gord? it looks it looks for a second like Gord is like you know knee deep in like surprisingly good water uh, but the water appears to be lashing out at him with pseudopods crap uh, I will Eldritch blast one of those pseudopods. <laughs> I am a one-trick pony at this point, friends. We all are. Hey, <laughs> first level warlocks, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, first level. Here. Will a uh, 14, 13 hit the, the goo? A 13 will hit the goo. Fantastic. So that goo will take eight points of eldritch laser damage. Eldritch laser damage. Yeah, and that doesn't deal any particular type of elemental damage, right? It's just arcane. Uh, it is... Yeah, no, I think it's it's a uh, crackling. I think it's force. Yeah, it's just energy. Yeah, just force. Yeah, just it is force. It's it's, it's just force. magical Ooh. witchcraft. Ten, yeah, one d ten force damage. Bitch. There you go. All right. Thank so you. to read through all those words, there's a lot of words. <laughs> it's a lot of words one, in that. Yeah. Max, you just saw <laughs> you just saw Ellsworth uh, fire a laser through the floor. Uh, Gord, it is actually your turn next. I said, go check on the guy over there. I got this. As I swing at the ooze. Mm -hmm. oh, I believe a 10 doesn't hit ooze. 10 does hit you. I yell oh, back over my, my shoulder to Ellensworth. Yay. I say, did you know we have a flying dwarf who can magically get out of pit traps? Uh, so go ahead and roll your damage. 
Uh, ten. Points of damage. Points of damage. All right, it's not quite enough to finish it off. Fair enough. However, your hammer begins to corrode as though it is uh, suffering from uh, rust and entropy at an accelerated rate. Oh, God. It's going to take a minus one to all... uh, Let's see here. uh, Yes, two damage rolls. Yikes. Zoinks. And, uh, Ellensworth. <laughs> All right, well, uh, I'm just gonna, like, walk up here. <laughs> what? <laughs> you, you okay down there? Yes, I'm fine. Check on that body over there. That body is dead for the fourth <laughs> time. He's still dead. We don't know that. <laughs> I'm pretty... Mm. <laughs> and you can see through this? He's... Uh, yeah, all yeah, right. He's, I'm he's down there. Disbelieve right? it. <laughs> yeah, uh, Ellensworth is just telling you, go cross-eyed. You'll be able to see through it. Uh, go ahead and make a wisdom save. The, the key is to stay through past it. You have to, uh, like, 16. Cross your 16 eyes does get it, yeah. So despite his instructions, you're able to kind of, oh, yeah. Huh. Yeah, you can see uh, you can see Gord down there wrestling with water. Do I think... Uh, what is what? What sort of check is dues will by arrow hurt the water? What does one roll <laughs> hmm. for an ooze? Let's see, uh, Arcana. If you're proficient, if not, I think it's straight intelligence. I mean, I have a little bit of Arcana, but I'm not proficient in it. I can just roll intelligence. Yeah, you can do that. Right yeah, that would be the difference, I guess. But yes. Uh, you're proficient. Uh, nine. A nine. You're not sure if it'll hurt it or not. Yeah, I'll try to shoot it and not hit <laughs> Gord. Not hit Gord. I do. Nine. <laughs> One. Seventeen. With a seventeen, yes, you do hit it. Does it do damage? It does. Does sneak attack work on it? Because uh, <laughs> I'm in it. <laughs> he is in it. You are in it, but it also doesn't have any vital organs. So, <laughs> does that? Uh, yeah, I don't even know. If I don't know if that matters, matters anymore, yeah, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm out of touch. I'm out of touch. It it's more of a. I, I think yes. <laughs> All right, and then I'll look it up and I'll I think lie it's to you if I was uh, Nine discussion. points. Nine points is enough to finish it off. Woo! One gray ooze down. It just kind of that damn water corroded my mall. Unfortunately, Tony, yeah, that mall is going to have a minus one on damage until you can get it uh, touched up. So just... That was my favorite mall. Did you have another one? Oh, I have a Warhammer. Oh, okay. Might take it back. Um, Fair enough. It does eat through your uh, your metallic arrowhead, but it did damage before it Okay, uh, cool. Yeah, that's before right. it out. It's just a stick in the mud. So is there, uh, <laughs> is there like something... Uh, that I could tie a rope to uh, that looks like it could support the weight of our um, country boyfriend. You uh, you might be able to do it if you had like a climbing spike. Will I, you I, go so check I on have, him? I have pitons and rope. All right, great. So yeah, you could. Yeah, it, you'll you'll probably have to like pound a spike into the uh, to the side of the thing. Uh, it's also if not only perfectly... I had a big ass hammer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey I, now. Yeah, Gord. It's also not like perfectly smooth. It looks like this was kind of like chiseled out. I have a hammer. Uh, so you're pretty sure you could climb out with a decent athletics roll. Yep. Will someone please go check on him? Yep, still dead. <laughs> <laughs> he told me to tell you. <laughs> he said it's fine. Then he's not dead. He said Helm protected him. <laughs> I roll a... He's 20. with Helm now. He doesn't want to be... Just I roll a 23 out. athletics to climb out on that side. All right. Uh, born of your... Uh, concerned for this this poor man's well-being, you are able to climb out. I go right check on the next trap. I go Jeez. check on him. <laughs> and you would barrel immediately into the next trap if this guy hadn't already set it off. Oh, good. Thank Christ. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you hear you feel like you know a, a flagstone move under your feet as you uh, approach the dude, but you don't even care. You're you're on him, and uh, I check his pulse. <laughs> roll medicine. <laughs> <laughs> Two. You're pretty sure this man is dead. He's, don't he's got a he's chance, damn it. Don't you give up on me now. <laughs> fight! Fight! I turn back and like, was that so hard? I do like a little 
<laughs> prayer for for him, and then I kind of check body of what. Uh, I'm I'm curious about this trap that maybe killed him. Could I could I roll an investigation to see what? Yeah, give it a roll. What would have happened? And I'll roll an investigation on the body. Oh or yeah, anything. Right. Tell yeah, him. And I'll loot the body. Twenty three. All, right. all right, I've got things for each of you. <laughs> Yay! We're on the table. Uh, so first of all, uh, he. He's wearing a what looks like a uniform, but it's not one that you recognize. Okay. Max, you've seen a couple of these guys uh, in the in the parts of town that you've run in. Uh, he's a sanitation worker. Oh. Hmm. Uh, in his uh, pouch, he he's got a, a small pouch uh, which unfortunately does not have any money in it. Does he have uh, a patch name tag? <laughs> he does not have a name tag. Damn. Uh, he does, however, have a, uh, a ring of keys. Ooh. These might be handy. Sweet. And Illensworth, you're able to kind Just of... Yeah. yeah, sorry. Got it. We'll I assumed you were checking for traps, that you had to be the rope, but yeah. No. Uh, Jastian, you're checking this out. Uh, you think the trap is uh, magical in nature, but it was a kind of one-and-done kind of trap. Uh, oh. It would need to be restocked Reset. with magical energy before it could hurt anybody again. Uh, and you also find a secret door. <gasps> dun, 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 dun. Uh, leading presumably back out to the, uh, the sort of sewer junction that you guys approached. Oh, very cool. Right. Our heroes have made progress in trekking down Bakio Hakushi's missing painting. But who would bring it to a sewer and why? Join us next week as we'll find out to what lengths our heroes will go to earn their bail money. Thank you for watching Peak D&D, and join us next week. <laughs>